and now he's over 100. So we're very proud of Bondi. Make him and Brad feel welcome. Well, did you all know that you actually have something in common with Bondi? If you have a look at your hand, and then have a look at Bondi's front flipper there, you all actually have the exact same bone structure. So when you look at those flippers, you might think that they also look really awkward for getting around on land, but we're going to have a watch as he goes for a walk. Being an eared seal, he actually uses all four of his flippers in order to get around and climb to the very top of that wharf. However, it's not till you see him in the water that you can see those flippers at their full potential. So after he collects that fish, hopefully he can find it, he's going to show you just what those flippers are made of. <laughs> so again, being a training presentation, things don't always go to plan, but that's all part of the fun of working with animals. So this behaviour that Bondi is showing you is known as porpoising and or bowing. And that's a really great way for our seals to keep up that terrific speed and take a quick breath of fresh air. So it's a really energy efficient way of swimming. This comes in handy when they're actually being a predator themselves. But there's another predator in the ocean that's often misunderstood. Bondi's giving you a clue. Do you guys know what that is? A shark, that's right. Not a very scary shark impersonation. <laughs> but what he's showing you as well is also another natural behaviour. So they have really dense fur, so it's only those naked and hairless flippers that actually allow the heat back out. So you might see a wild seal doing this out on their daily basis. Now those flippers are incredibly strong and hopefully Bob is going to show off for you. are good for one more thing and that is a big wave goodbye thank you very much Brad and Bondi we have a bachelor male group and we love showing Californian sea lions off because they're actually the closest seal to humans. So if you've been up that way, they're found all the way from San Francisco down to Baja, Mexico. And Pepper is very shortly going to be coming out and he's going to be showing you guys something we call husbandry. So husbandry behaviours are also known as cooperative care and it's where we actually allow our animals to partake in their very own health check. So they will work alongside with us. We can check over their health. So this is Peppa out with Michelle. And they're going to give us a nice big hello. Very impressive there, Pep. So they're going to go through some of these husbandry behaviours. Now we have 15 seals here at Taronga and it's something we do with all of them every morning. So we can ask them for things like they um, put their head onto a target, we can check their ears, we can check their eyes as well, and we can also ask them for a mouth open. Now, someone like Peppa is eating around eight kilos of fish a day. So he, that's a lot of fish, a lot of spines going down his throat. We wanna make sure that all of his teeth and gums are in good order. We can also check their flippers. In the wild, these guys will be walking on really rocky cliff edges. So again, there's something that could be um, susceptible to cuts and scratches. Being able to touch our animals all over is also extremely important to their healthcare because we're looking for any signs of wincing, flinching, anything that could be an indication of pain. Because Pepper is so large, it is also really um, great that we can walk around him and manipulate those rear flippers as well. So we'll let you in on a little bit of a secret. At the moment, it is Californian sea lion breeding season. So it means that they're not always completely focused on their training sessions and you'll see him going to opposite ends of the um, pool there and that's because he's looking for friends in neighbouring um, exhibits there. <laughs> so a lie down is another great part of husbandry. It's especially important when we have our breeding programs here. We can get the females to roll over, we can do x-rays and ultrasounds. So we can check on the health of the pup and also the mum and um, track their process. 
So it's a really great way for us to do that, which isn't invasive, and it's something that they're completely okay with. So these guys are also going to be spending a little bit of time demonstrating that shark behaviour known as sailing that you saw earlier by Bondi. Now, animals sometimes like to take a few little shortcuts, and Pepper likes to shortcut this behaviour a lot. So we want to make sure that he travels the whole perimeter of the pool with that flipper up. And so far, he's doing a pretty good job. What do you think? You see, Michelle has also got her hand pointed, and that's because he likes to cruise on into the middle of the pool and cut that last bit off. <laughs> So we call this maintenance behaviour. So it's already established, they already know what they're doing, but we just need to keep working alongside them in order to make sure that that behaviour stays um, at the level that we want it to be. Give a round of applause, show them you're proud. different species of seals already and we actually have four different species total here at Taronga and we're very shortly going to be introducing you to another species. So Tani is another relocated sea lion, um, a rescued sea lion sorry, she was found when she was really young all by herself on a beach in Western Australia. Now parental learning, especially maternal learning, is really, really important for these animals. And because she was by herself, she wasn't a candidate for release. But this is the gorgeous Tani, and she's out here with Brad. So they're going to be showing you a flipper stand. So this is a behaviour that Tani has been working really, really hard with. And it can take a lot of time to build. Not only does it make her use her strength, but it also makes her use her balance. So some seals can take up to two years in order to hold one of those stands perfectly. So she's doing extremely well at the age of three to be so far along with this as she is. So on the ground she is quite comfortable doing those flipper stands, but ideally in the very end we want her to be doing those up on the box, which can be a little bit daunting. So we're going to see how she goes. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> oh, she's doing such a great job. So it goes to show that when we work really hard with our seals, working alongside them, we can build these behaviours and we uh, set them up to be successful as well. So I think that was an outstanding effort from Tani. And hopefully she'll show you again. <laughs> well done, Tans. Such a hard behaviour in such a young age. So we're very proud of her. She's made a lot of progress. <laughs> and hopefully she's going to wave goodbye. <laughs> Thanks very much, Tans and Brad. So you've seen one of our smallest animals exhibiting a behaviour that takes a lot of strength. And that's one of the high energy behaviours that we would do here, as well as getting them to do things like a high bow, where they touch their nose on that boy. There's also um, other behaviours that we do that are a little bit slower paced. So very soon, Murphy, another one of our beautiful Californian sea lions, is going to be taking to the stage. And he turned 16 only a few weeks ago. So being a little bit larger, weighing in at 310 kilos, and being a little bit older, we need to tailor our behaviours in order to their needs and their capabilities. So we're not necessarily going to be getting him to do all those high energy behaviours as he is starting to slow down in age. So we do different behaviours that cause him to use his cognitive thinking. So this is Jake and he's out here with Keeper, Ma uh, this is Keeper Jake out here with Murphy. So Jay's coming down to the very front here because he's going to be showing us bubbles. So Murphy has been learning to blow these bubbles for a little while and he's getting really, really good at it. 
So we're going to start on one side and make our way over so you all get the opportunity to see. So this behaviour is one that was built when he was on the land by touching his nose and he opens and closes his nostrils. We then translate that to just above the water, still touching his nose. Then we move it to the other side of the glass and then down the glass. So it takes a lot of time in order to make sure that our seals understand these different subsequent steps. <laughs> you can give him a round of applause, he's very impressive. You'll see as well, he's looking for Jake all the time. He knows that Jake is the one with the fish and the one that he is working with. Now our seals and our keepers work really closely together to build these behaviours and that means that they have a really strong rapport. If you saw a seal in the wild, there is no chance that they would be this close to you and this friendly and willing to work with you at all. So it takes a lot of time, our keepers work all around the clock, our job just doesn't stay here, it comes home with us. These are animals that we're always thinking of and always wanting to work alongside of. So they've done a great job so far. And he's actually going to be coming up onto that wharf there and you'll see a blue MSC fish tick right underneath him. Which one is it, Murph? That one. <laughs> and that logo is really important because it means if you're out purchasing seafood and you see fish with that logo on it, it means that the fishery supports fish stocks, jobs and the environment. So you're guaranteeing that there's fish out in the ocean for Murphy and all of his wild cousins. So that makes him pretty happy. He's going to show everyone your happy face. Hey. Somewhat creepy but beautiful smile. Thank you very much, Murphy and Jake. So we've already shown you one Australian sea lion and we're going to be bringing out another one. However, you will notice they look quite different. So Tani, who you saw before, um, she is an Australian sea lion. And we have another one by the name of Marley, who is 18 years old. Now Marley looks quite different and that is because he is a mature male. So he is brown in the body with a nice golden cap on the very top of his head. And that shows that all the other males and females around him that he is of breeding maturity. So he's ready to mate with a female, but he's also ready to fight in order to find territory. So very shortly, he's actually going to be coming out onto this blue box and we're going to need a member of the audience to give him a health check. Oh, a lot of hands. I didn't even ask for a volunteer yet, but you're all switched on. All right, now this is always a hard part of my job. All right, I think you're all being dogged into it, but you look excited as well. Come on down. What was your name? Isabel, lovely to meet you. Everyone give Isabel a round of applause. Alrighty, Isabel, well very shortly Marley is hopefully going to be coming out through those doors. So if we have a look, he's out here with Keeper Brad. Do you want to get a bit closer? Yeah, awesome. So I'm going to get you to stand on that red spot. Beautiful. So the very first thing we need to do with our health check is check his flippers. So Marley is going to lift that flipper, grab a hold, and we're checking it over for things like cuts or scratches. How does it look, Isabel? Looks good, we're pretty happy with it too. And now the next part's also very important. We're going to lean on in. And we're going to ruffle up that fur there. You can give that a turn. Making sure, like we saw with Pepper, that our seals are really comfortable with the sense of touch. It's also a behaviour that they love. You can see Marley nearly falling asleep. <laughs> That's right. Well, Isabel, it's your very first day as a keeper, so hopefully there's a camera out there taking some beautiful photos. Oh, Marley's being cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, well, it's like you've done such a great job, so I'm going to take you on back to your seat. Oh, did you hear that? So Marley is really softly spoken as our Australian sea lines are, but he's saying that we forgot to say goodbye, so shall we all give him a big wave? Awesome work, they're going to head on backstage, and you can head on back to your seat. Didn't you do a great job, everyone? 
Now Marley is an animal that we are extremely proud of. He has played a huge part in our breeding program, fathering two pups of his own, and in the last year become a grandfather himself. So very exciting from us. Well, very shortly we're going to be joined back on stage by our seals and our keepers, and they're going to be saying their final farewells. But remember guys, your choices matter. Choose MSC and you can all be champions for the wild. Bye for now. Prepa